have thought a small work injury <laughs> would turn into this. I know it's been a long time coming, and I know you deserve this and more. Um, I want you to know that you make me the happiest man in the world. I'm so glad you were so persistent in our Cargill days. <laughs> now I couldn't imagine life without you. Gilbert came into our clinic one night after he hurt himself. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like he never left. <laughs> and I wrote this while I was sitting there getting ready. <laughs> I said, babe, I'm sitting here getting ready, so nervous and so excited to see you. We've been through so much, and there is no one else I would rather spend my life with. You have been my rock during all the tough times, and the only person I want to spend the good times with. When I'm nervous or anxious, you are the only person I look for in the room to calm me down. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to marry you and start our family. I love you, babe, and always will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Friends, we have come here rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, and we now stand with Gilbert and Louisa. We live in a day and age that tells us that love is an emotion. It's a feeling. That's not true. And how do we know that? All we have to do is look at Jesus Christ on the cross. That's the image of the greatest love that the world has ever seen. It's also the image of the worst suffering the world has ever seen. Love is a choice that we make, not a feeling. It's not an emotion. So what's the greatest principle of love? It's sacrifice. Our Lord taught us this. Greater love than this no one has than to lay down one's life for one's friend. And He showed us exactly what that means. I, Gilbert, take you, Louisa, to be my wife. I, Louisa, take you, Gilbert, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you. And to honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And just like Father said, um, this isn't the finish line, this is the starting line. So I want you to know during tough times, it's when I'm going to love you harder, and it's when I'm going to care for you the most. Through the hard, through the thick and thin, I want you to know that I'm going to be there for you. Friends, it is my honor to introduce to you for the first time this couple newly united in Christ, Gilbert and Louisa Serra. The love they have for each other shows and is truly amazing. When I think of couple goals, they are the first ones who come to my mind. Oh. <laughs> Always support and encourage each other and have grown so much together. So here's to Luis and Gilbert. May your marriage draw you closer as you continue to share your hopes and dreams. And may you always prosper in health, wealth, and happiness. I love you both. <laughs> And uh, this is a way to start off the new year. Uh, congratulations and uh, toast to the tournament.